Hello friends, welcome to today's PySpot session. Today we will be discussing about execution of PySpot using PyCharm application. So in my machine, I have installed Hadoop, Spark and Java for execution of PySpot program. Now I will be opening this PyCharm application for execution of PySpot. So for that, I will be opening this PyCharm application. Uh, before execution of PySpot coding, let me tell you some points so that it will be helpful for you for your execution purpose. So first time when you have opened the application, then first you have to go to file, then setting. Then please check it very carefully in Python interpreter. In Python interpreter, you must have to check whether Python version is properly installed or not. Whichever is showing here, as in my machine, it is showing Python 3.10. It means Python 3 version must be installed in my machine. If it is not installed, then I cannot execute PySpot application. So this is one of the key points. So how you can check whether this version is installed in your machine or not? You have to go to search bar and then you can open your command window. Then you will be writing PySpark. You can able to check which version is installed in your machine. That is Python 3.10.4. So it is Python 3 version. So this is one of the point. Now the second point is first time when you open this PyCharm application you may not able to see this PySpark Py4G this packages so manually you have to add those packages so that you can execute your PySpark coding properly so how you can add this one you have to click on this plus button then you have to write PySpark Then you have to click on install package as I have already installed this one so I will not go to this step now. For you you have to go through this step it will take some time but after installation of this package you can able to open the application. So now uh, once you install this PySpark then in there this Py4G also will be installed in your machine. Now. I have already created one project here. I will be creating a one new project. I will be showing you if you don't install this PySpark then it will not run properly. So I will be creating one new project. Every time I would like to say whenever you will create a new project you have to install your PySpark application. Why? I will be showing you. So as right now, I am creating one new project. So this new project name is project 6. And this base interpreter, please check it properly. This path is Python execution file path. So whenever you will be keeping the Python execution file, this file must be present in this base interpreter path. This should be pointing to here. So now I will be creating this one. So I will be creating a new window. So here if I uh, let me create one python file new python file like basic. So this basic.py file has been created. Now if I would like to run some application using PySpark code, I won't be able to run. Why? I am showing you that one. Here I have already written some code which I will be explaining you how this can be executed. So this code I will be writing it down in this new window. here so if you see here uh, there are some 
uh, disable uh, options are there so if i run only simple this part i'll be getting some error so for execution this application i have to go to run basic so if you see here it is writing module error found means no module named pyspark why this is coming because if you see in this file section then go to setting then you have to go to this python interpreter section here if you see this pyspark is not installed here so once you create a new project then always you have to install the pyspark package as this is a new project so here also i have to install the pyspark package so that i can able to execute pyspark code so as this is one of the instruction which you must have to follow before execution of the code so i have installed this pyspark in my one of the project so here as i have installed this project pyspark module so this portions are enabled here and i can able to execute this python file properly so already i have written some code here some uh, transformation and action functions are there and i'll be showing you how i can execute this one properly so before execution those points you have to follow this so what you have and one more important thing uh, whenever you will see this portion is enabled properly this from pyspark import spark contest and whatever you will be adding as per your requirement whenever you will be seeing those are active it means your project is good if there is any error it means there are some issue and you have to check it out so now coming to this code what i have done here i have uh, used one word word equal to sc dot parallelize and then i have given some list of uh, values so first this words is converted into rdd and then i'll be doing some operation here if i click here if i touch uh, this you will see this words is one of the rdd and which is converted by using sc dot parallelize so first i have converted this one in rdd and then i'll i have done different calculations <coughs> like words dot count words dot collect and then i have used some lambda function by using filter then collect and map function these are the basic function i have used here for execution of pyspark program this is the basic phase you can write different complex application here also but main thing you have to have the error free syntax so that you can able to execute your code now i have printed those uh, functions here so i'll be showing you how it can run so after that you have to click on run basic pyspark So it has started already okay so let me show you what are the output i got okay so first this is the number of elements in rtd one two three four five six seven eight so number of rdd is calculated how it has that's calculated count upper by using count operation on that rdd it has calculated count this is the h now elements in rdd what is that this is call call one call one means a collection collect is uh, action phase where the all the inputs are collected from transformation and it gives the output to the end system so here uh, by using this collect statement it collect the uh, elements of the rtd and it shows the output so these elements in rdd is whatever the you have in your uh, rdd these are showing here now coming to third that is the key value pair 
so what is key value pair i have printed this key value pair is mapping what is mapping mapping is what underscore map dot collect so what is words underscore map this is a i have used one lambda function and then by using this map function i have used this lambda and then x comma one so main function of map is it divides the rdd into key value pair so by using this lambda function and by using map i have uh, divided this rdd into key value pair so the first one x is means it is a key and this is a value so like this way it does the map operation and it gives the output so here if you see key value pair means kala this word is appear one java is one how to point every element is divided into key value pair and it is showing like this so this is the concept of map now coming to the fourth point that is filtered rdd what is that that is a filtered filtered means what filter dot collect okay so now what is what filtered here that is collect so uh, that is nothing but uh, the first one is elements in rdd like that so filtered rdd is nothing but the collect operation so whatever you got it from here same thing is printed here sparse spark or shadow pi spark this is the filtered rdd so if you see here filtered rdd is a filtered so filtered is words dot collect so words collect words underscore filter that means this is the lambda and here i have written what is words dot filter that is words dot filter lambda x and then spark in x please check this line carefully here x is the key and spark in x that means in which element of rdd spark word is there it will be printed only it means all the rdd elements will not be printed only the elements which contain spark those only printed so i have designed this one like this way in word filtered uh, rdd so word filtered rdd whatever it will get after doing this application this coding it will be showing in collect function so if you see here filter rdd all the elements are having spark uh, element so that is number four now after that what i did i have done this for each operation for each one of the uh, action fetch which is used in pyspark which is used in spark application so what i have printed here I have defined one fx function and then it will be printed for words dot orange f. So words means it is the it is a word. Word means this is a parallelized RTT. So what it will be printed that will be I am showing here. So this one, Scala, Java, all the elements are showing here. It means every line. it uh, reads the elements and then it is printed as it is so as uh, in rdd the elements are there it will be printed like this way now coming to the second one that is the reduce reduce is one of the action operation which is done in the action phase so here i have declared one simple rdd by using num function so now i call to sc dot parallelize then i have given some elements then i have uh, used a new rdd adding equal to num dot reduce add it will do the adding addition of all elements and then it will be showing the result in adding so this reduce phase reduce function is nothing but a action phase which uh, which will be doing this add function of all the elements of rdd so if you see this print option adding all the elements what you will be showing adding all option this is a 15 so this total count is uh, addition is 15 so it is showing here addition of all elements is 15 okay now coming to the another function which i have used join operation so join operation as you know this is nothing but a join 
of any of the statement like join of multiple RDDs or data frame here as I have used RDD so here two RDDs are there one is X and another is Y so in X what is this par comma 1 and Hadoop comma 4 and in Y that is par comma 2 and Hadoop comma 5 so after doing the join operation what I should get I should get spark 1 comma 2 and Hadoop 4 comma 5 this is this output I should expect here so how I, I will do this operation so here join is one of the new RDD where equal to x dot join y it means x join y it does the join of x and y then finally this join is collected by using collect statement and then it is printed join RDD final so this operation so let's see what I, I got here see this is one of the output which I got Hadoop 4 comma 5 as part 1 comma 2 this is the output I got so here at the end it is finished with exit code 0 exit code 0 means it is finished successfully if you get the exit code as 1 it means there are some error and you will be able to see those error above so this is the overall view and overall uh, description we can say this is the overall thing by which you can execute the PySpark application using PyCharm code so by using PyCharm you can able to execute different complex queries in Python and then you can able to see the results here so this is the overall part I hope you understood that one if you face any issue of uh, installation of PyCharm or installation of basic Spark, Hadoop and Java you just uh, tell me in comment box I will definitely reply on that so hope you enjoy the session uh, have a great day uh, if you like this video please subscribe my channel have a great day thank you so much bye